Yo, what up, is Don? Finley here. Soul Brothers back with a very important video Damn. for the culture. Skechers. <laughs> you guys are such haters. Is this video. a real basketball shoe? Yes. Oh, wow. It says, Skechers go basketball. It's, yeah. a, it's a basketball shoe, guys. Hey, don't hate on most catchers. We might have a banger on our hands. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So I got this, I, I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks, man, on Walmart. And you know, once you, you this is the box, and once you open it, it has a lot of shit for the runners. Oh, wow. So it's like, uh, what? This is a basketball shoe. They're so. like, why did you buy a basketball shoe? Buy <laughs> a runner. Exactly. So, um, uh, so yeah, I want to see if this was a good performer. And um, a lot of you guys are, were like, why are you wearing Skechers, dude? For the for Instagram, I was posting this when I was playing ball. <laughs> so uh, this is the reason why. And does it basketball? Even though it's a basketball shoe, uh, we're going to put it in the does it basketball category. So let's get it started off with the track Shiones. Uh, we have some geomet geometrical lines. Yeah, multi-directional for sure. There's yes. a, they kind of weave into each other. It's kind of a... Uh, uh, Pretty cool complex pattern. pattern. It's, a, it's a pretty cool pattern yeah. too, right? Uh, so traction at first sucked ass. Yeah. You know, I was like sliding around. I was like, ah, oh, damn, this sucks really bad. But then I kept playing in it, and then uh, there was like a little bit of a like layer. You know, it, the layer was like kind of it had a little texture. Like, yeah, a little texture. Yeah, little holes or something on it, and right. I I, I kind of like wore that down, and it got really good. Um, um, I'm not like crazy, crazy good top tier traction. Um, like it, it, it's weird because so like going forward and stopping like this has a really good bite. Right. But lateral movement and moving sideways, it's not as good, you know. So it, it, it did tend to slide just a little bit uh, from doing you know lateral movements. Yeah. Um, there were some good time, uh, good times where it was like pretty good like for lateral movements and there were times where it wasn't that good so uh, that was a little inconsistent but other than that uh, traction did improve and uh, it's, it was actually not bad hmm. uh, not the best not the worst it was actually pretty good is what I'm gonna say so right and durability seems I don't know man it's a seems pretty so hard so. rubber dude yeah. it's a pretty hard rubber even though it looks really really thin the grooves yeah so I, I feel like durability should be okay All right, moving on to cushion. Yeah, so what are they called? Five it? gen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh, gen it says, five. Yeah, yeah. Where does it say? It? Yeah, yeah. Right here on the yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it says five gen. That's the cushioning. <laughs> it's actually nice, dude. Really? It's actually pretty. Is it nice nasty. or is it just the crazy insoles they use? Uh, no, it's not. The insoles shit. Is it? It's kind of squishy. Well, yeah, it's okay. Um, well, I'm I'm saying it's shit comparing it to like their other shoes oh, like yeah. their other shoes are insane yeah they have other shoes that like the whole cushion is the insole exactly exactly but like yeah but this insole is not bad it's not the best yeah uh especially from from sketchers but it's not bad stepping stepping comfort is good you you do have a traditional straw board it's really stiff um but <laughs> in in the heel there's a nice little bit of compression really? slightly bouncy too it's like soft I like it, dude. Wow, how's the cushion the toe? is really nice. The toe is uh, it's pretty. It's a little harder to feel. It. You can't really feel it as much. Uh, this part is rubber, so in basically in the midfoot, it is caged. That's mm -hmm. just rubber. So um, but overall, heel to toe transition is nice. Heel strike uh, for impact protection is really good. Yeah, overall impact protection is really good. Court feels good. Responsiveness is good. So, um, yeah, comparing it to just like other shoes, or maybe like the Kyrie Flytrap 2 or the Kyrie 3 or something, it's like way better than those. Yeah. Which I was very surprised about. And it's actually a nice cushion setup. Wow. Yeah. Um, all right, upper slash materials. Yeah, uh, very cheap feeling. Yeah. Shit felt. Um, what is this? Synthetic it's like leather? synthetic leather, synthetic suede. Makes kind it like a, just a full on synthetic. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah, so quality sucks, mm -hmm. and it very, it very much shows. I, I think this is like a $60, $70 shoe, just retail. It it's on sale for $30, $40, bucks, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, you, you're not gonna, you don't expect quality materials from that type of price. Mm -hmm. uh, but on foot, it's actually pretty nice, dude. Um, it's, it's pretty thin, it's really soft, conforms to your foot, and uh, supportive, you know? So it felt yeah. pretty nice on foot, I was surprised. The tongue is not very, very padded, but it didn't feel bad. There's a little bit of foam. Um, so yeah, materials on foot felt nice. 
no pinching or anything anywhere it broke it nicely uh just just like just like looking at it and just yeah. feeling it in hand feels like shit so all right moving on to fit uh, how's that fit is fit, it long uh, go through the size it fits pretty damn nice but it is a little narrow or not narrow but it's just like really tight in the toe box you right. know what i'm saying so i'd say maybe just, it's just like narrow in the forefoot and just like really tight this way you know? yeah so, yeah uh if you have a thick thick ass wide ass foot probably not the best shoe for you but i'm not it was a pretty good fit for me all right, uh, support and lockdown. Support and lockdown, if you see the slow motion, uh, my foot does slide out a little bit. Or a little, a little no good amount. There's no caging that really comes up. It's exactly. It's like all it, on the upper. Yeah, especially uh, in the forefoot. So uh, yeah, I think a lot of the support is coming from the upper. And I think it does a pretty good job of uh, keeping my foot in, even though it does slide out for a little bit, maybe just for like a millisecond or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really feel that millisecond, hmm. which is interesting because like the KD-11, I feel like it doesn't come out as much as the KD-11, but I really felt that, like my foot hitting the, the fly knit and yeah. just like really wanting to come out. But for this shoe, even though it looks like my foot is coming out a little bit, I didn't feel it as much. And I didn't feel like I, I was sliding out as much. So, right. uh, which was really interesting. Um, so. Uh, I'd say it's not the best for lateral containment, but it was pretty good. And also you have this quick fit system, which is basically just a fucking... Heel tab? Yeah, it's a fucking yeah, heel tab. You gotta name it's everything. It's not even a heel tab, it's like a pull tab. Yeah, and it pull doesn't tab. do jack shit. You yeah. know, you just cut, you know, so it's like, whatever, you know. Is it a quick fit? Uh, I, I guess. But like, the thing is, the uh, heel slippage was kind of bad though. Uh, yeah, even though I, you know, you tighten the laces and stuff like that, the heel slippage was not good. Heel... Um, the lip is like too low. Yeah, it feels like definitely, definitely, and uh, I, I didn't feel it when I was playing it though. You right. know, like my my heel wasn't coming out like crazy or anything, so that wasn't horrible. But like, kind of like when I tried to kind of take it off, the heel slip, it was really easy to take the shoe off. Um, so heel lockdown wasn't the best. Mm. So there's that, but it, it wasn't horrible like past Adidas shoes used to be. Yeah. Uh, weight. Weight. Probably like what 10 ounces, really light 11. Real light 9.38. Super light, very minimal feeling, uh, slightly responsive. Traction could have been a little bit better, I I'd say, like, have a little bit harder of a bite, but other than that, uh, pretty light and minimal feeling shoe. Uh, break in time, break in time, nothing really needs to break in besides traction, and that takes like a few days, like two, three days. So, what about um, overall just stepping comfort? Um, it's nice. I mean, yeah. the cushion is super comfortable. The insole's not bad. So yeah, if you just want to casually walk around in this, I, I feel like it'll be a pretty comfortable shoe. Right. Durability. Durability seems pretty good. Yeah, but I don't know, man. You think the build quality is not there? I just I couldn't imagine. Maybe I don't know much about Skechers, like yeah. how how long they last. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. But yeah, the glue doesn't seem bad. I mean, yeah. I don't have any separation or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, durability seems pretty good as far as, you know, just playing it, you know? Yeah. And how's ventilation? Uh, no. Mm. It's a no. Mm. Even though there are little ventilation holes, eh, it's not, it's, it's pretty hot. So. Right. Yeah. Uh, aesthetics. Fuck, dude, these are fire. Yeah, I, know I actually you think they're dope. Because <laughs> the colorway. It, it's not just because of the colorway. Ah, because the colorway. I mean, you know, it's kind of just, it reminds me of a Kobe. I did. Dare I say. It I did. mean, it's low, it's kind of minimal. If it didn't have this S, y'all yeah. know. If this had a, a fucking check, Nike check, Nike yeah. swoosh, you guys would think otherwise, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's not bad though, but I just really don't like this. This toe yeah. just looks like shit. So, anyway. The Sketchers logo is kind of garbage. <laughs> An S, dude. That's nice. Yeah. Um, but anyways, thirty freaking dollars. I was not expecting this at all to be good. I was like, yeah, let's just fucking do it. I feel like it's gonna suck. But then uh, after going playing in it for the first day or two, I, I really had to like go through that, you know, through the pains of breaking it in. But once I did, it was actually like not bad. Wow. Um, and definitely not gonna be in like my rotation or anything. But. I kind of pleasantly enjoyed playing it, and especially oh. the cushion. The cushion made it like a lot more, like it was like kind of like the cherry on top. You know, the cushion was actually really nice. Uh, one thing that can improve is the support and the traction. The right. traction can be a little bit better. But other than that, for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, if you guys want to save money and you don't give a shit about Skechers and being made fun of, then definitely go ahead and cop, dude. I mean, yeah. it does 
basketball, it does it pretty well. So, uh, yeah, that's my review. That is the does it basketball for the sketch. What's this called? The, the torch, the torch LT sketches go basketball. Sketches go basketball. Um, but anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.